In West Melton, Canterbury, 27-year-old mechanical engineer Sam Mackwell is up well before dawn, getting an early start at a bold idea. He is refining a revolutionary design which could help power food production beyond fossil fuels. Climate change is my entire motivation. When I decided I wanted to do something about climate change, I went basically straight to engines. What I could see was the most obvious cause of climate change. Early on, I started experimenting with hydrogen, but I quickly learned that there were some really big you know, physical problems with making hydrogen. So I went on to liquid biofuels. What's this? And developed a turbine engine to burn them. But the energy it takes to make those liquid biofuels is almost as much energy as they generate. So in terms of capturing the sun's energy and storing it for later use, they're just not an efficient way to do it. So at that point I went right back to basics and looked at trees and solid biofuel. And I realised we don't value that resource. It's got an electrical equivalent energy density, four times higher than a, a modern lithium-ion battery. All we need to do is find a way to turn that into traction as efficiently as possible. And that's what an ag loco does. Sam is keen to prove his locomotive boiler design should be shared with the world and not locked away in a museum. He has built upon over 70 years of research and design into modern steam technology and achieved several design breakthroughs that are currently awaiting patent. His boiler design is three times more efficient. It burns fuel cleanly, emitting no smoke or spark emissions, and is an inherently safe design with no risk of explosion. By mid-2020, Sam had completed his 400 horsepower boiler. However, it alone was not enough to convince the agricultural world to move beyond fossil fuels. So I was often told for years by people, the first person that you need on your crew is someone who can sell it. And that was when Philip came along and was instrumental to then finding a way to, to take the technology to market, to have an impact with it, right where it needed to be. Having grown up on a 400 hectare Canterbury farm, Sam's business partner, Philip Royds, is no stranger to what ag locos are competing against. Right now, the world is stuffed. We've got no alternative to diesel for making food. You have to have a tractor, obviously one shinier and newer than this. But I choose to be optimistic. We can't wait forever. We're going to have to bring some of these problems forward and start making a change now. Sam and I believe we've got a really fantastic solution that we have to scale rapidly if we're going to have an impact. Sam originally built the 400 horsepower boiler to provide a zero emission solution to the Taieri Gorge Railway in Dunedin. However, with the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, the project was mothballed. And the future of Sam's revolutionary design looked increasingly uncertain. With his background in farming, Philip had a bold vision for where Sam's zero carbon locomotive could be put to use. Farmers are owner operators, so I, I said to Sam, why don't we replace the tractor? You know, t rather than making railway locos for millions of dollars and trying to sell one every couple of years, make smaller locos, and Sam just got it immediately. He's, a, he's amazing. When installed in an ag loco, his boiler can match the performance of a modern diesel engine and reduce greenhouse gas emissions 11 times faster than its electric counterpart. 
Where the Ag Loco really, really excels is in the all day, the heavy work on dairy farms and in arable farms like around here, it's in the heavy cultivation. Yeah, a lot of these farmers we we're talking at the field days are burning two, three hundred thousand litres of fuel a year. So it's a major cost on farming. Trees and biomass are essentially nature's solar panels and batteries. As long as farmers manage their land to grow more trees, all of the carbon dioxide their ag loco emits will be recaptured in a zero carbon system. And farms running ag locos will only need to put aside 2% of their land to capture all of the regenerative fuel they need. So these sorts of trees you see, you see here um, can be eaten by ag locos and they are renewable, so it's the carbon dioxide that these trees have captured over the last 20 years being re-released. It doesn't add anything to global warming. That's the really exciting thing. With diesel tractors making up 1% of global CO2 emissions, Philip is committed to bringing a zero carbon alternative to market and taking the diesel out of food production. No stranger to startups, in 1991, Philip co founded Link Engine Management, which manufactures engine control units for motorsport vehicles and exports them to the world. His partnership with Sam has been instrumental in taking the business to the next stage of its development, as well as bringing on board David, a design engineer. They are working to secure an industrial space where they can begin production of the first Ag Loco prototype. It is a huge space, which they have big plans for. Actually, in a year's time, we have to have that Ag Loco, the 150, built and testing. So there'll actually be a working Ag Loco in here. The, the exciting thing is, based on the square metre of this one gable, we can actually roll up to 35 Ag Locos per annum out of here. So there's, there's enough space to scale in our first couple of years, and then there's potential to scale laterally, longer term. To see this whole building filled with, with Ag Locos under production, it would be fulfilling the dream that I've had for, for many, many years. But it's only the beginning. A bit more air in. Until they begin the production of the first Ag Loco 150, Sam and Philip continue to redesign, test, and perfect the performance of their boiler. So I've got the blower going. The main regulator or the throttle will shut at the moment. So we'll just pressure up, get things sort of stable. Yeah. Right, I'll give the whistle a little blow. There's a romance to the sound of a whistle, so it's a, it's a mandatory component on an ag uh, We'll cook some food. Once it quietens down. A little... Is that all the wedges? No, no, no. Top? Yeah. <laughs> I wish the kitchen was a bit tidier. <laughs> and with the hard work done for the day, it's time to enjoy a meal with friends. Yeah, I think this will add something to something quite special to lunch uh, for, for farmers. Oh, that'd be cool.